Hi everybody, Jenny Lee Hodgins here. I'm a returning piano learner myself after a big time gap and um, I have been uh, excited about getting back to piano and in case you don't know I have a new and returning piano learners Facebook group so please feel free to join that. And what I thought I'd do today is just hold myself accountable, <clears throat> practice what I preach about getting in there every day trying to practice. And um, I'm just going to do one piece right now that I'm practicing, and it's called the it's the Bach Prelude Number no. One in C Major, and I've been working on this piece <clears throat> a little bit, and uh, I have two goals that I've been working on in my practice session today. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first goal is I'm trying to memorize it, and um, I'll break that down in a second. And then the second goal is I'm trying to um, increase the tempo because this tempo is supposed to be between 88 and 92 beats per minute. So that sounds, 92 beats per minute sounds like this. And that's for every quarter note. And so every quarter note would be if I was playing it in chords. <clears throat> and, um, and playing chords is what I've done to uh, initially try to memorize this piece and so what I just played is the opening progression and when actually played it sounds like that so it's 16th notes arpeggios arpeggio if you don't know is a chord in this case it's up here in second inversion and they just play one note at a time and I have a little bit down here to add to it with my left hand. <clears throat> so first thing I'm doing to memorize is I've just gone through the whole piece and tried to play those arpeggios as chords and learn what they are. So for example in the beginning it's a C major, a D minor 7, a G major 7 chord and then it goes back to the one chord C major sounding again like this. C major, D minor 7, G major 7, back to C major. It's hard for me to talk and play at the same time. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> anyway, so the two goals that I'm working are on are memorizing it, and the way I'm approaching that for this uh, aspect of it is the chords, <clears throat> and then I'm trying to get it up to tempo. So I'm going to take it a tiny bit slower because I highly recommend when you're practicing you focus on one goal. So my one goal is right now playing it from memory. So I'm going to forfeit the speeding up of the tempo, try to slow it down a little bit, which for me is a challenge sometimes. So this is Bach prelude number one with the goal of trying to recall the three pages from memory, focusing on the chords. <clears throat>
Well, I made it through. <laughs> Woo! I memorized it, <clears throat> and oh my, my cat didn't like my performance. <laughs> and now my next um, practice goal is to get it up to tempo. So the tempo is supposed to be 92. As you know, these are the quarter notes. I'm gonna pause and feed my cat. I'll be right back. So now my goal, I only focus on one goal. So now instead of focusing on memorizing it, I'm gonna focus on hitting that tempo. And one way I can do that is to practice with a metronome and then I can glance at the page. So I'll try that. and that's at 92 beats a minute. And you might notice that I ignored the metronome at the end because <clears throat> it says poco ritardando, which means little bit by little bit slow down. So I tried to just block out the metronome <laughs> and try to slow it, slow it down a little bit at the end. So my next goal will be to have it memorized at that tempo. So that's what I'm gonna be working up to. This was a little bit pushing it for me in terms of tempo because that's why I was smiling because I'm like, can I keep up? <laughs> so um, if I had tripped up, <clears throat> you know, if I if I'd fumbled over things and I would have known for sure I can't take it at that tempo yet and I'd have to bring it down a little bit, maybe to 88 um, beats per minute and work my way up to it. Goodness, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you to death. <laughs> my cat's finished eating and I scared him. At least the music didn't scare him, right? So I just wanted to come in and give you, um, you know, this is what it's like to be an adult. You're busy, you gotta find time. Um, this is my uh, practice routine. This is one way that I do this. I pick a goal, I focus on only one thing, and I practice it that way. And usually what I'll do is I'll practice it three times in a row on that one goal correctly before I move on to the second goal. But for time's sake and to give you a, uh, an overview of what I'm trying to accomplish, I just, I just did it once. So um, I hope this was helpful to you. And um, this is a beautiful piece to start with if you're a returning piano learner like myself, <clears throat> you know, trying to get back into things. Um, because it's in C major, so C major just basically has very, uh, it has no white, I'm sorry, no black keys in it. This piece has a few black keys in it, but um, it's not too challenging in terms of uh, the key, the signature. So if this was helpful to you, if you want to hold yourself accountable with me uh, in terms of progressing as a piano player, coming back to it as an adult, or if you're new or returning to piano, I just want to invite you to join my new Facebook group. It's called New and Returning uh, Piano Learners, and I'm going to be hosting a free masterclass January 11. Uh, in that masterclass, I'm going to give you everything you really need to successfully start piano, as well as some really um, in-depth tips on how to practice piano so you can effectively and consistently improve your piano playing and enjoy your music. 
So let me know if this was helpful. Drop a comment or whatever, um, a question. Uh, if you're a piano player or a teacher, throw me your um, suggestions or um, advice on or tips or any comments you want to make, even to help me out with my practice. Um, would love to hear from you and let's get a dialogue going and help each other, hold each other accountable as piano players. So this is Jenny Lee Hodgins. I'll see you soon. By the way, I go live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. on ET from uh, my page. So uh, you are welcome to join me and hurl some questions at me there. And um, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.